We're near the end of uh, day three of Week to Wicked. We got suspension on the car, we got a motor. Everything is getting really close toward it going on the ground for the first time. And we needed the right set of wheels to make this thing really a pro tour. So we're here with Carlos from American Legend. Uh, let's talk a little bit about these wheels. Yeah. Um, so what we went with is a uh, three-piece wheel. Uh, this is our uh, American Legend Blackhawk. Uh, we went with the three-piece because uh, the nature of your build, you know, with the custom brakes and suspension uh, that has gone into the car, um, really off-the-shelf item would have worked gotcha. for you. So um, with the three-piece, you can kind of tailor the position of the wheel a little bit better? Exactly, exactly. You can not only uh, modify the backspacing of the wheel and offset, you can also modify the width, um, the finish. In this particular case, we went with the satin black to accommodate the, 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 the top of the car. Yeah, the um, satin also, black worked really exactly, good with the vinyl top of the exactly. car. Exactly, and then also the brush to add some of the little bling to the car, you know, not to take it away, to make it too wild for what you guys are doing. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just uh, again, with the three-piece stuff, you're able to do st cool stuff like that with custom finishes, uh, polish, brush, um, uh, tints, uh, similar to what we did to this one. There's, uh, you know, multiple ranges of uh, finishes that you can do with, with a three-piece wheel where uh, some, something off the shelf wouldn't have worked, you know, one-piece cast. Uh, there's also offerings like that that we do, but it, it just didn't seem fair for the build that you guys are working with. You gotcha. Know, we, we needed to go, uh, go big or go home. And so we went with something custom like this for you guys. So we've got a brushed lip on the outside of the wheel. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, yeah, we went with the brushed lip and it has a clear coat over it for, okay. uh, to protect it from, you know, all the damages, brake dust and, you know, dirt and grind that may go while you guys are going hard at the car. Uh, we did the same thing for the inner rim half. Um, if we could have gone with something black on the inside, but it would have taken away from the center of the wheel. Um, we wanted to really emphasize the, the you know, the, the satin black to match the top so that it, it, it made it for a full package on the car. Gotcha. Yeah. So we went, we chose polish. We thought it looked really nice yeah. and really complimented the car, but you guys have a lot of other options. Yeah, you can do yeah. You there's, 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 there's a lot to choose from, most definitely. Um, you know, we could have gone really wild with it, um, but, you know, you, you needed the pro touring look, which is a lot of what this is going on right now with the brush and the satin and the different tones of colors and whatnot. So. Um, yeah, I think I think we did a great choice. Uh, you know, we went through a lot of different options for you guys. Or some of our one-piece cast, we looked at the options, but they weren't really quite what we needed for that for this build. You know, so okay. we decided to go with this, a little more sporty. Uh, and you get to see some of the cool brakes behind it. You know, it makes yeah. it makes the, the vehicle look more mechanical. That just screams pro Exactly, exactly. So, well, we're we're about ready to set the car in the ground. So we're gonna bolt these on and uh, get this thing rolling. <laughs> 